Okay, boys and girls, in today's edition of It's Broken, We Gotta Fix It, we have a failed valve actuator. This is a Bray valve actuator, even though it has a Johnson Control sticker on it, it is a Bray valve. And I was up here the other day, tested this, and it is clearly the actuator. The valve seems to move fairly freely. So we've got another one ordered, and right there it sets. So the first step in this process is I've got to remove the cover and get this actuator unwired. You can see here, guys, I've got the actuator removed from the valve body itself. Now the valve does move freely, and so it is clearly an actuator issue. And I brought the actuator down here to where we can work with it a little easier and have a little bit more room. And basically this is controlled by a relay and the wiring is pretty well just straightforward here on the inside of the cover. It has a wiring detail and you know and of course to unbolt the actuator it's simply four studs or four bolts that go into the back of the actuator once you slip the actuator onto the stem of the valve. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and unwire this actuator and wire up the new one. Of course I'm going to make a couple of notes uh, just to be on the safe side and check all of uh, this over real well and begin to get the new one installed. Now there is something that I want to draw your attention to. We have the original actuator here on the left and the new one is here on the right. There is a set of dip switches here on these valves. You want to make sure that you check to see that you have them in the correct position before you go through the trouble of getting everything wired up and it not working right. So be sure to check the dip switches on these. Okay guys, I want to show you a little something. Here is this valve in our system. Now what I'm doing before I get this mounted up in place is I'm going to make sure that it functions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send an override to go the opposite direction of where it currently is. Currently it is open. I'm going to override it to the closed position. And when I hit save, it should start rotating. Now you can see here we have an LED that is lit up indicating that it is rotating. And you can also see here on our indication that the valve actuator is moving, okay? Just like that. Now something else you need to be aware of too, these actuators, if you do have this extended out, like if you're gonna operate it manually, it will show a fault on the board here. So make sure when you try to do a test like this, you have that pushed in to where the actuator itself can work. Now what we're gonna do is to get everything cleaned up and get it mounted onto the valve body itself. Again, there's just four bolts that holds that on there. Make sure that the stem is in the proper position to where it will slip into place and simply bolt it back up. And that's what we're gonna do now. Okay guys, we are now finished. We have the valve installed and I have tested it. It is stroking that valve very easily. So that's just one more step in the process. And of course, it's time to move on. Anyways guys, if you like the video, be sure to leave me a comment. Be sure to check out all of the links down in the description. I will leave links to where you can find various tools and things like that. Uh, that uh, Anything you buy through there to uh, support the channel and what we do here. Guys, hope you like the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.